trust Kenya's politics to revolve around talking. But not just talking, everyone, including the president, has been talking about talking. Talk about exhausting. But as tanks wagged this week, our in-house skeptic Wilson Buru also found some cute political moments fit for a Sweet 16 novel. Get ready to be briefed. Here is this week's edition of Mock the Week. The 23rd week of the year, a week in which Kenya celebrated having a government for Kenyans and run by Kenyans for the 51st year. A proud moment for a good number, but for the rest of us, a time to sit in the scorching sun and wonder whether supper would be affordable that night. The national dialogue. It was a week where we talked about talking and the conditions under which that talk would be talked. Talking of which, then his family, not that one, the other family, came and, as one would say in Kiswahili, talked differently. The national dialogue will be done within the institutions that are created by the Constitution. But first, let's talk about love. Talk about love. Talk about trust. One year and some change on these two who are still very much in love, love sitting together and cracking jokes. Many, many, many jokes. But it would seem that somebody somewhere did not like this trend. So, on this day, that person decided that the two would sit miles apart and in fact placed the First Lady Margaret Kenyatta between them. At this point, it is important to note that the Bible states in Mark chapter 10 verse 9, what God has joined let no man tear asunder. And clearly, God did bring together our two friends here and regardless of the distance, they found a way to make it work. investigative team did try to find out what was written on that note and after scavenging through the head of state's coat pockets they managed to find the said communique which basically turned the first lady into a post office i'll go ahead and read what is written on that particular note which i have in my hands here and it reads boss nikunoma njanayo nespichiako bado will of course be talking to our experts to explain to us how this particular information affects the prices of fuel and the cost of living. Moving on, it has now been certified that we indeed love our president. In fact, we love him so much, we bought him this. Yes, a bulletproof, bombproof, deathproof, Al-Qaeda-proof, Al-Shabaab-proof monstrosity. It's ugly, but you really want to be in there in case one of those grenades goes off. Bomb Kikomba, Bomb Mombasa, Bomb Likoni, Bomb everywhere. Let me explain something here. A few weeks ago, three explosions rocked the country within 24 hours. One in Mombasa and two in buses on the Thika Superhighway. And the deputy president went on record to say this. The government has done its best and will not relent until the country is safe. And what better way to show that the best is being done to protect Kenyans than to procure a bulletproof, bombproof, deathproof, Al-Qaeda-proof, Al-Shabaab-proof monstrosity? Don't get me wrong though, I believe it's of utmost importance to ensure that our president is safe and now that he is, we should all feel safe too. In fact, the president felt so safe on this particular day that he thought it was safe to say things he hadn't planned on saying. Serikali yangu kwa muda wa miezi mitano sasa tumekuwa tukijipanga the position of Jubilee is that engagement that is welcome is engagement on social issues. And the moral of the story is stick to your script, Mr. President. Stick to your script. Remember what happened the last time you didn't stick to your script? Oh, what a fortune. The thing is, if you don't stick to your script, you're bound to confuse very many people. Mimi, 
wakuje tuketi alivaela na kalonzo wapige simu waje kwa chai sieta unaona mimi mimi ni mtu akwenda kwa chai baba wa ukweli ni yule anaenda safari anarudi na nini na mkate lakini huwezi kutembea kule alafu unakuja unaanza kusema nataka dialogue nikatiwe mkate nusu hakuna and speaking of confusion here's something confusing 500,000 shillings to airlift speeches guess they must have been pretty heavy on rhetoric meanwhile further down we see they say luo is not a tribe or language it is a calling and if you're called to be luo you need to know how to respond introducing the luo alphabet in this alphabet you do not get your usual a to z you get characters that look similar to the egyptian hieroglyphs after all the luo are believed to have come from egypt right started from the bottom now we here started from the bottom now my whole team here yeah, started from the bottom now we here started from the bottom now the whole team here start started from the bottom now we here but what would this week be without a word from the newly empowered nelson kama muko na agenda museme you say we really don't have an agenda sir we're just a happy lot but is there any other advice you'd like to offer us we have a duty we have a duty and we have a duty to protect our heritage heritage now before we wind up i'd like to take this golden opportunity to congratulate our police force for doing a splendid job a few weeks ago they announced the ban on tinted windows and i went on record to say that this was a very good move if we are to ever catch the anglo leasing thieves well here are the results of that ban after peeping through hundreds of thousands of windows they managed to get this guy his name is Deepak Kamani who is somehow involved in the multi billion shilling scam yeah take that Deepak well that's all for tonight see you next sunday start it Danny on the chat